everyone. Um, <clears throat> by the time you're watching this, I will probably be closer to my second trimester. Um, and right now, I'm just in the very beginning stages of my pregnancy. Uh, so I hope you get to watch this because um, we're really feeling connected to this baby. And um, we hope that he or she grows really healthy and we get to have them in our arms um, in August or September or whenever they decide to come. So <clears throat> I should just start from the beginning. Well, today, um, five weeks and two days pregnant um, with a pregnancy that was very surprising. <laughs> Um, this has never happened to me before. I have always planned out my pregnancies um, to a T. I know when I start trying, I um, I get really obsessive about the timing. And, um, and so I'll just wind back a little bit and talk about my journey with my other three <clears throat> before I jump into pregnancy number four. Um, so with Bodhi, when we wanted to get pregnant, we tried... Uh, <clears throat> for about six months and I ended up using uh, an ovulation prediction kit for the last month and that was the month we got pregnant um, and we got pregnant with him in June 2013 and then uh, I had a pregnancy loss in 2015 and then um, got pregnant again in 2016 in March and I'd been trying for 14 months to get pregnant with Forrest and doing all the things um, just you know having make and love um, every single day during the fertile period sometimes a.m. p.m. just going nuts with her and I remember Mark saying this isn't fun this is um, this is too much. And he didn't like the stress of it. So we just weren't conceiving. Um, and we found out that I was kind of, sometimes I would ovulate, sometimes I wouldn't. And I was still breastfeeding Bodhi a fair bit. So I was told to um, lessen the amount of time during the day that I was breastfeeding him. And so I weaned him during the day and kept nursing him at night time. And then, um, and also just let go, just decided I have everything I need. Um, I'm so happy with my little boy. I should be so lucky. And then of course, that thing that we always get told when you just let go, um, it happens. And of course, the month that I decided to break up with the obsession surrounding getting pregnant was the month that I fell pregnant with Forrest. And I knew he was a little boy. Um, I always had dreamed of having um, the same gender in a row twice. And so when we had Bodhi first, I always wanted a boy first. I just thought I'd have boy, boy, girl. And that is how it turned out. Um, <clears throat> and then with Poet, that was the least amount of time. That was three months of trying. Um, but again, like really actively trying to get pregnant. So this little nugget, um, this is our first surprise baby. Um, we wanted a fourth, we want a fifth, we want a sixth, we want a big family. But we had always talked about having more children, say a year from now or six months from now. Um, we were going to try for another baby sort of midway through uh, 2021. Um, but hey, 2020, the year of surprises and unexpected things. Um, <clears throat> we got pregnant so easily this time. Um, and in fact, we were actively avoiding pregnancy. We were, I know everyone's going to roll their eyes when I say this, but we were practicing the rhythm method. But I've been really... Um, very very regular for the last my cycle has been really regular for the last six months or so since it came back I'm still breastfeeding poet um but I ovulate around day 17 or 18 and that's it 
Um, I did have one freak ovulation on day 14 during the six month period, but I've got an eye pregnancy, uh, eye, eye period app where you put all your details in so you can see when you ovulate. And it's, I'm always like, I have a 31 day cycle. That's just when, um, I, I've always had that since as long as I can remember, it was always 31 days. And then I did have this one random one in October where it was a 28 day cycle, which I don't ever really have. It's like, oh, that was interesting. Um, so we baby danced, meaning we made love, um, the night before Mark left to go to America. And it was one time and it was um, cycle day 10. So I'm still thinking we've got seven days or eight days until um, we are in the fertile time um but obviously it must have just been one of those cycles where i just ovulated earlier so it was such a shock finding out such a shock so mark was away he was getting back on monday the 21st of december which was our uh, seven year wedding anniversary and I was at Tesco, I was doing a massive shop ready for him to come back. Um, I was getting like other things for the Christmas stockings and I was with my friend Susie and I, and I was like day 33 and I was saying to her, it's so weird that I ne my period has never been this long. And for a few days I was like, I, there's no way I could be pregnant. There's just no way. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get a pregnancy test so I can stop thinking about this and wondering whether I'm pregnant. Um, I'm in Tesco in Cardiff in the big superstore um, and I'm busting to go to the toilet and I was like, I'm just going to quickly buy this test and go do it now in the Tesco toilets. And I was in there with Poet. She was in her pram um, and peed on the stick and bam, sure enough, within 30 seconds, the darkest line I've ever seen. And it was unbelievable. I dropped it and I just started shaking. My whole body just started shaking. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And um, I, Susie said I came out of the toilet just white, white as a sheet. I, could, I was just in so much shock. I had no idea. And I have been talking about my fourth baby and calling that baby in and talking to that baby, but um, really anticipating this to happen next year um, and not this easily. We've never, I mean, we had it one time, not even what I thought close to my fertile period. Um, so so it was just shocking. I, I cannot believe it. And it, it made me realize that, oh, this baby wanted in, this baby wanted to come right now chose this timing, said, that's it. I'm coming in, guys. I'm not going to stick to your plans. Um, this is when I want to come in. And uh, Mark, so I tested and Mark had just landed at our house in Cardiff after having not seen him for three weeks. And so Susie was like, you've got to do something. Like, what are you going to say? How are you going to tell him? Um, and I was still shaking and just saying like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, over and over. So I ended up she was like, why? Because he always unpacks the shopping. That's his settling in routine. He comes home and he likes to sort of reorganize the fridge and unpack the shopping. And he has this certain way of organizing things in the closet, um, not in the closet, in the pantry. Um, he likes it all orderly. And Susie and I always laugh at him about it because um, she's been living with us for the past six months here while I've been away or shooting. She's been helping me out with the kids. So her and I are always like having a good old giggle. Like the moment Mark comes back from America, he like redoes the way we do the fridge and like reorganizes the pantry. Um, and so she was like, let's put it in the shopping bags. Cause I just could not think at this point, I, I couldn't even drive home. I was like, ah, 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 you need to drive. Oh my God. So um, thank God she was with me. And she was like my grounding support because she said, you've got to do something special to surprise him. 
And so I was like, all right, you video and I'll put the pregnancy test in the um, shopping bag. So as he's unpacking, he'll see the test and oh my God, guys, it was so funny, his reaction. I'll have to see if he'll let me post it because it's so funny. Because again, we definitely weren't trying. We were actively avoiding pregnancy. So this is just the biggest shock. And his reaction, he's just like staring at it. What? What? Just like over and over. Um, and it was, I, and I just started laughing. I was like, I know. Oh my God, I have no idea how this happened. Anyway, um, it was, hello. Hi, Folly. Mummy's just in here doing a video. Anyway, it was the funniest reveal video. And then it pans to my mum and Mark's holding it up to my mum and she was like, oh, positive. And then, um, but my mum had had a dream that I was pregnant. I had had a dream that I was telling Sarah I was pregnant with a little boy like a week earlier. Um, anyway, so there's my long-winded story on how this baby was has come to be in our lives um, and just how much of a little blessing this baby is and I just feel so connected to him or her because um, it wasn't easy to come in when when they came in and I just I feel so grateful that this is the path that has unfolded I think at the time it took me a good 24 hours to wrap my head around it and sort of like reorganize how I saw the top of the year and now the, the middle of the year and um, you know the uh, due date is actually my friend Susie's birthday, uh, the 28th of August. Um, but that's based on my regular 31 day cycle. So since I've obviously ovulated a fair bit earlier in the cycle, I would suggest it's probably more around the 26th of August. Um, anyway, that is that. Um, that's how we came to be pregnant. Again, first time, like, we, I can't, can't even say first time trying because we weren't trying. But basically, yes, a surprise well out of what I thought was my fertile period. Um, you know, I have a movie that I'm meant to be shooting in, uh, in March, in a couple of months, which I really want to do. But I'm just one of those people that when I get pregnant, when I have a positive test, I immediately just blow. Like, poof, my stomach just comes out. Um and fourth baby, I think my body's like, oh, yeah, I've been there, done that, know what I'm doing. So that's that story. I'll do a, a second part now, which is going to talk about pregnancy symptoms, how I've been feeling. I'll show you what my tummy looks like right now. I've just had a massive meal, so probably look more bloated than I usually do. Um, and, and yeah, so there's our story. Um, I'm so happy now. I'm so happy. It was all meant to be. Um, you know, it's just that thing when they say God laughs at your plans, like, you know, God, the universe, whatever you believe in. We always say the universe. Um, like this, it, there were just, there was a different plan for us and this was it. And it makes me feel really excited. Like, who is this person to come in like this? And, um, we just are, we're thrilled now. But of course, Mark is going into the full spin out on, is the baby healthy? Is the baby healthy? Is everything okay? Um, yeah, and that's all the next hurdles of the first heartbeat scan and getting through the first trimester and um, all the things that you start to worry about. But okay, I'm going to end this video here because it's getting really long and then I'm going to do part two now. All right, Mwah! all my love.